right, I'd like to welcome everybody to VST Podcast. We're live, or actually this is going to be recorded, but you'll be able to share it on all of your social media and stuff. It's YouTube, and it's VST Racing on YouTube. So make sure you guys check that channel out, and uh, we'll be sharing it on our Facebook. But we're live here at I-76 Speedway with about two races left, I think, for points. And we've got Jeremy Vanier with us. He's actually leading both in the IMCA Modified Division and the stock car division. Jeremy, how you doing? Yeah, I'm doing pretty good. Thanks for having me. So, uh, obviously, you've been racing out here since the beginning of time. Well, it seems like that, right? It's uh, been a while. 18 right? years now. Eight, you've been out here racing 18 years? 18. Holy Moses. Uh, what, what's the tab just for 30-some years? 30 I think 1990 yeah, is the year he bought it. What's the, what's the fall classic this year? That's all I can remember. It. It's getting up there. <laughs> it's like the 30th. Yeah. 31st annual, I think. Wasn't last year the 30th? Yeah, maybe 31st now. This is 31st year. So, but you've been out here 18 years, huh? Yep. So um, you've uh, had a few championships, uh, mind you, and pretty much uh, running the modified for the majority of that, correct? Yeah, we've been in a modified since 2006. So what is that? 17? Yeah, yeah. And how many years. championships you have out here? I, I quit counting, and I don't. I don't say that to be bragging. I'm just saying I did right. quit county. Um, it's probably six or seven, I would so, think. So definitely the guy to beat. And then you decided to come out here and run in my division, the stock cars, and whoop up on us too. So now you're leading in the stock cars. <laughs> I like that stock car class. Is that, um, is that not good stuff? It's good racing. It's um, you don't tear up a whole lot of equipment usually. You get up on the wheel and race. Old yep. school. You drive the car. Yep. You're not you know, racking your brain, trying to figure out how to make it faster all week. I don't need a shock engineer to tell me how to set my car up. That's exactly, I, exactly. That's I like. It's so back to the fun part of it. It is, it is. And the stock cars continue to grow. Uh, they kind of, they grew up here and then they kind of plateaued off. But I think from what I'm hearing is we have some people getting back involved and getting in it. So I'd like to see that stock car class grow and get bigger and better. But I, I think it's getting there. And nothing like 20 stock cars out there. I mean, yeah. That's a... That's good stuff. Uh, I, I enjoyed racing with you, even in the modified days, but in the stock car, I definitely had some fun. Uh, I'll be back out there. I got Lainey Bug racing my car now. I took a little early retirement. She's a little hot shoe. Right, right. You have to watch out for her. She's, <laughs> she's doing excellent. We're going to interview her, too, coming up. So uh, tell me where you're heading the rest of the year. What do you got going on? You know, we'll do the, the Flatlander at uh, Sherman County Speedway in Goodland, and then uh, the following week, We'll be at Hayes, Kansas for the Sunflower Classic and Fall back Nationals. out here. Fall, Fall Nationals, yeah. that's right. So you're basically doing what we're doing because we're going we're gonna to run that. Yep. I don't yep. know if Bud's going to let me back in my car or not, but if not, she'll I really run. doubt it. Yeah, I know. She'll probably <laughs> run it. So. Um, you haven't traveled as much this year, have you? No, I haven't. I mean, I've ran here um, at I-76 Speedway, and we've made visits to Oberlin Speedway in Kansas. And Man, you know, Oberlin is one of my favorite tracks. It's I a need, blast. I need to go out there. Oberlin you get your elbows up and, and you work for it there every lap. Oberlin and Jetmore. What is the Jetmore? I never they, made Jetmore. Jetmore I've heard good things. Corn? No, they, they plow it under? Yeah, I'm, I'm assuming. I think so. But Jetmore was similar to Oberlin. Those were two of my favorite racetracks. So I definitely need to get back out to Oberlin for sure yep. next year. Because so, they're doing some good things. They're, they're, they're going to run a whole series next year, right? Yeah, I'm sure that's what they're thinking. So, right on. All right, well. I know you want to tell everybody that you're going to make it to the Holyoke season finale <laughs> on Friday the 17th, right? Yeah, we're going to have the stock car at Holyoke on the, the 17th. Both? But we'll see. We'll uh, see how uh, things if go. If you to come, grab one. I'll grab <laughs> one. We'll stop, stop by. There you go. Uh, there you go. All right. So make sure you guys come out and see Jeremy Fenner. You got this week and then in two weeks, and that's the championship night. And yep. then, of course, you got the uh, fall classic. But then uh, you also got... Has Oberlin got another show or no? Oberlin's done. Uh, Dawson County Raceway has a special. It'd be the, the day after the last points race here, yeah. which I think is the 18th. So it's all wrapping up. All in all, you've had a great season. Uh, I'm sure you'd probably win them both, but uh, best of luck. And keep us posted, and then we'll get you back on here throughout the winter because we're going to do these podcasts through the winter and keep people informed of what's going on, who's doing what, when, and why. Yep, yep. I appreciate you having me. All right. Thank, Thank you, sir. Served. All right. Have fun. Right on. Grab a... I want to welcome everybody back to the VST podcast. We've got Hunter Smith with us. Hunter, what's going on, buddy? Uh, nothing much. So, so uh, I know last weekend you you concluded the El Paso 
uh, championship, but it didn't go as planned. Uh, you won the championship, but unfortunately we hurt the car a little bit. But on the good side, I heard it's back together and better than ever, right? Yep, we got it bent back to almost exactly stock, so. Okay. All right, I can uh, tell you a little secret, kind of like I told you before. Every race car that I've bent and I put back on the racetrack became faster. That's what everyone says. So do not worry about that. The, the auto show is over. All right. Now it's time to go to the Nationals and whoop up on them there. But before you do that, you've already got one championship. You need one more tonight. So do we just need to start or do you need to finish? Where are you at? How many points ahead are you? Uh, I'm about 70, uh, seven, around 70 something points ahead. Uh, so. so you got this one wrapped up too? Yeah. So we just need to start tonight. And we'll so basically, we've got two track championships. We've got the state title. Uh, you won the Colorado Cat Tour. Yeah. All right. And we are leading and should win the national rookie title with IMC, correct? Yep. That's our goal. Yep. All right. We're going to complete them all. You're going to do good tonight here. Get ready. And when are we heading out to Boone, Iowa? Uh, we're going to get up about 4.30 tomorrow, leave at about, at about 5 and head up. So uh, are we keeping track of how many shows we got in so far this year? Yeah, we have, I think... I was going to say 40, my guess. We have 40, I want to say 44. And wow, that's big, that's good, that's awesome. And, uh, you know, you've done an excellent job. I can't think of uh, anything that you could have done that you haven't done. It's amazing what you guys have put together as a team. I know your dad is behind this, your grandpa's behind it, your mom, the whole family. It's cool to see that, the family affair that it brings out. So... Uh, I want to wish you guys the best of luck. You've done amazing here. Now I want you to go to Boone, Iowa and show them what Colorado is all about. All right. All right? All right. All right, buddy. We'll talk to you. Okay, I'm ready. You're ready? <laughs> Travis, you ready? All right. want to welcome everybody back to the BST Podcast. Once again, we're live at I-76 Speedway. We have the famous Noah Spiker out here that drives the uh, Mini Mod, Bonsai Mini Mod, number 73. So, uh, first and foremost, you're leading in points, and you got your little brother right behind you. How many points behind you is it? Um, I'm pretty sure two or three. Two or three. So, you have two more point battles with him. Are you going to be able to maintain that lead? Are you going to be able to keep him behind you? Um, yeah, hopefully. Tonight, he's starting in the back. He won last week. It's so really. Do, so, do we alternate then? If you win, you go to the back? Yeah, if you win, you start in the back the next main. Interesting. And so where do you start? Um, I drew 59, so probably in the back. You'll and then in the back with them. Yeah, but that's for my heat race. So you go straight up from your heat race and then straight up to the main lineup. The main. So what do you think of these mini mods? Um, I think they're cool. Yeah. I mean, do you I like them. Do you remember when Laney Bug raced one back in the yeah, day? Yeah, that Matter was. Matter of fact, that's your car. Or was, was no, your that's, car. that's Silas's old car. That's Silas's old car. Yep, the blue car. Yep. Yeah. So, uh, what, do, what do we have, an average of 8 to 10 now coming out? Um, yeah, I'm pretty, I think we have, we lost a little bit this week, but I think the most we've had was at the Mini Mod Mayhem, and we had 13. Yeah. So, I know next weekend at Calhan, we're going to put on a big show for them, and we got the infield out there. They've got the arena that we're going to do. It should be a great race out there. I hope you guys come on out. Um, I, I think obviously we're going to move up and move on what's what's our plan what are we doing are you running mini mods one more year or are you going to jump up to some uh thunder stocks or hobbies what are you thinking um well, i'm running mini mods till i'm 14 in the summer but this winter i'll be running a hobby stock run this the, year run the hobby in the winter but straight. until i'm 14 i'm still driving the mini mods so so you know what we can get you and i'll talk to your dad and your grandpa but you know those 600s <laughs> yeah. We can put you in one of those dudes. Yeah, with old Hunter Rhodes. That's, that's what we. That's what we need to do. You know, that's what. That's where a lot of guys came up. I mean, Kyle Larson. I mean, uh, Christopher Bell. All those guys. It's pretty amazing. So that's a, that's a good. That's a good thing to look at. So maybe we'll see if we can get you in a 600 before you're 14. That way they don't catch up to you. Yeah. All right. All right, man. Well, thank you for coming on. Put it to them tonight. I hope you do good and. Uh, Continue that point championship, all right? Yeah, thank you for inviting me. All right, go get your brother. We'll get him in here. Yeah. All right. I-76 Speedway, we're doing the BST podcast, and we have Silas Spiker. Silas, first, how old are we? Uh, we're nine. We're nine. 
All right, and your brother, I forgot to ask him, so what is he, 12, 10? 11. 11, I knew he was up there. All right, well, how old's your little brother? Four. Four. All right, so how long have we been running mini mods? Is this our first year? Uh, about like two or two to three years. Two to three years, all right. But this is, is this your first full season? Uh, last year, I guess, would have been. Right? Yeah, last yeah. year. So how many wins do we got? Because I, uh, I know pretty much you're uh, giving your brother all he can take. How many wins we got going on this we year? We got, I think, seven or eight wins. Seven or eight wins? Mm -hmm. You know, I don't even think, well, let's see, what I got? I, I got nine wins. So I better I better get I better get Ladybug out of the car and see if I can keep up with you. That's it, yeah. You gonna you gonna win tonight? Maybe. I hear you're what three points back. Yeah. You gonna be able to beat your brother? Uh, I hope so. Yeah. What's gonna happen at the family dinner if you take the championship from your older brother? I'd probably be bragging in his face. You get, you gonna jump up? Yeah. Show him what it's all about. Yeah. Do the victory dance. Right, yeah. Right on the dinner table. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> so uh, uh, I hear you have to start in the back because you won last week, right? Yeah. All right. But how you finish in your heat race is where you'll start in the main, right? Well, no. So, like, it's where everybody goes. So you start in the heat race, if, and it's straight up from the heat race to the main. But I still have to start in the back in the main. Okay. All right. Well, that don't scare you, right? No. Nah. No. Nah. How many cars do we have tonight? I think like five or six. Five or six, all right. I think you got this. Okay. So if you if you win, do you just gain one point and your brother finishes second? Is that how it works? Is it like well, our deal IMCA? Is it one point per position? Well, if like, so the top three, they get the most points. If Noah finishes behind me tonight, then I'll take over points by one or two points. If you win it. Yeah. yeah and or if he, or even if he just uh, gets behind me. Yeah, and that's your plan, right? You yeah. Got, you got this in the bag. Mm -hmm. So I should put my money on you. Is that what you're saying? Yeah. Because we got some side bets going. You know that, right? Yeah. All right. So per pretty much bet the farm on you. Mm hmm All right. All right. All right, Silas Spiker. Thank you for coming once again. We're live at I-76 Speedway. We got a couple races left, so make sure you guys come on out. And uh, watch these mini mods. These guys are awesome. Uh, Silas, real quick, where are we, what are we going to race when we get older? What do you uh, want to do? I want to do a modified. You want to get a modified? Mm hmm. What about like a World of Outlaw uh, late model so, you know, uh, uh, Uncle Joe can take you on the, on the road? Yeah. Yeah, you could do that? Yeah, I'd do like late models and modifieds. Late, late models and modifieds? Mm hmm. How about a sprint car? Uh, I might w run one for like a season you or think? two. All right. I say we run them all. Kind of like Kyle yeah. Larson. Is he your hero? Uh, a little bit. A little bit? Yeah. Uh, he's not that great, huh? No. You can do what he does. Yeah. Yeah, that's what I like. All right. Good job, buddy. We'll see you. Get that thing ready. Go Kay. beat. Go beat your brother. Okay. All right. Let's go. We good? Yeah. All right. We're back live at I-76 Speedway, and we have the famous Laney Bug Vellum. Laney, what's going on, baby? Not much. Not much? Mm -mm. All right. Well, obviously, this is my youngest daughter. Uh, I'm extremely proud of her. She uh, pretty much kicked her dad out of the race car a, a couple months ago and has been racing uh, out here at I-76 primarily. She ran one also at El Paso. Uh, but what do, what do you think of these stock cars? Um, I enjoy racing them. Um, I have a lot of fun in them. They're definitely a driver's car, so you definitely have to get up on the wheel to race them, but I really enjoy it. So, uh, two years ago, we started you out in that hobby, and you won the track championship at El Paso, winning here and also at El Paso. So, it's not like uh, it's your first time racing, but it's your first time in stock car. Back in the hobbies, can you, t can you tell me the big difference between the hobbies and the stock cars? Yeah, definitely um, in the stock car, you have more power than in the hobby and just the class itself the drivers they're more competitive and they'll race you twice as hard as in the hobby so that has definitely been a challenge for me but I still really enjoy it you know you, you did great in the, in the hobby division but uh, I'll be honest with you I love seeing you in these stock cars man. The, the, the division too tough to tame you've tamed it a couple times you've done extremely well mind you 
um, your first night out, you got third in your heat race and third in your main event. Uh, your, and then uh, down at El Paso, you finished third in your heat race, and I think you ended up like seventh or whatever in that main event down there. You had a uh, problem where you had to end up pulling off, but you did good up until then. Uh, and then you came back out here, we finished uh, third in the heat race, and then your main event, you actually were taking the lead in the heat race, and then you were taking the lead, the lead in the main event, uh, but you got a little excited and spun out on the high side. So the one good thing I can tell you, Laney, is uh, one thing about it, you're definitely not afraid to mash a spoon. That's good. So now it's just a matter of getting that car control, mm -hmm. which you'll, you'll get, and, and you'll figure it out. So, But uh, you've done awesome from here. Uh, uh, you're looking forward to tonight and a few races that we have left. Uh, what do you want to do? You, you want to try and knock that out for the fa uh, fall classic and also uh, the races out of town? You're going to let me get back in that and run a little bit, or what's the story? Um, I don't know. I you think know. I'm think I'm used to the car now, yeah. so I just yeah. might as well take over yeah. for the rest of the season. All right. All right. Well, hopefully DeVilvis gets our new car. Matter of fact, <laughs> I talked to him today, and he said uh, he's going to be bringing it back uh, next week. So. It'll be great to get them both done, and I'll be looking forward to racing you guys. We need to get Peyton out here. Yeah. Uh, I know Peyton's done awesome, too. Uh, she's running her old car that Trip has. Uh, they're up in Gillette this weekend, but uh, in two weeks, I believe they're going to be down here, and we'll get uh, you guys running together. You excited for that one to race with your big sister? Yeah, she's probably going to be my biggest competition, honestly. She is extremely competitive. Yeah, she is. It'll be interesting. We just yeah. got to make sure we got cars that we can load up after the race. Right, right? Yeah. yeah. All right. Well, Laney, I appreciate getting on here and telling us uh, what's going on. Uh, you've done excellent. I think uh, I hear him calling for a pit meeting, so we'll try to get you ready. Are you all ready to go for tonight? You going to do good? I am. I'm your, super excited. Your competition has uh, definitely stepped up tonight. You've got David Murray, seven-time national IMC <laughs> champion, yeah. going to be racing with you. Yep. So uh, yeah, your competition is definitely stout. Yes. You gonna be ready? I'm ready. You got this? Uh-huh. All right. All right. Thank you for coming on. Thank you. All right.